Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna do a video. I actually just got back from grocery shopping, so I'm like, why not? So I didn't even like fix myself up, but that's not the point. I wanna do a video today on um, some of the meat alternatives that I buy and that I like. Um, like I said, the last couple of years, I've thought about my life and the way I wanna eat and the way I wanna buy products. So I'm not vegan. Um, I'm not here to preach about uh, whether to eat meat or not. I believe everybody is different and we choose the lifestyle that fits us. But it's nice once in a while to substitute some things that, you know, maybe they taste the same or, you know, I don't know, maybe you want to try it. And I have tried so many things over the past like two, three years now and they're expensive, a little pricey and some of the stuff is really not very good like the company i would stay away from that you see in absolutely every single um grocery store is dia and i don't know why uh, i tried a couple of their products i don't like them it doesn't taste good um well the only thing i do like was the cheesecake so the cheesecake was okay but everything else i i, I my personal opinion didn't like so these products are all corn free because i have a corn allergy not everything by each company is great. Um, some things don't taste good, some things are good, so you have to try it. Maybe it fits each other's tastes. But like I said, I have a corn allergy, so everything that I've chosen is corn-free. Now, um, the oh, my favorite favorite is the Beyond Burger. So this is a Beyond Burger. You get two patties and you cook them four minutes each side and they're delicious. I love them. I think this is such a great company and I just bought, I'm excited, that's all frozen here. I just bought the Beyond Burger, um, I guess it's uh, like ground fake meat. It's really good and it actually tastes different than this one. So I put this one in my spaghetti sauce a couple of times and I really like it. And since I'm with the Beyond Burger, I don't have the wrapper for it, but I bought, they have now sausages and they're delicious. You saw them and I've tried them once. Uh, I fried it up with, um, I ate it with rice and vegetables. It's really, really good. Now that's the Beyond Burger products, Beyond Meat. Um, another company that I really like is uh, Light Life. Okay, so if you want to buy hot dogs, I would suggest get these ones because we all know hot dogs are not even that good for you. So you might as well go with an all natural, no meat one. So this one is Light Life. Now, the only thing is I tried to boil them the first time and they were really gross. So put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. You have to poke holes with a fork in it so it doesn't explode and it's amazing. I've opened the package, so I have eaten some. Um, so it just looks like a regular hot dog, and they're really good. I really like them. And also by the same company, they make bacon. Uh, they recently changed the packaging on it. Um, so it's, it's really good. This bacon actually tastes pretty close to the real thing. So it's like bacon strips, you fry them in the pan the same way you would make bacon and it's really good, it smells good. Um, since we're on the subject of that, uh, lunch meat. If you wanna make sandwiches for your, your son or daughter or yourself for lunch, this actually is a new, new one I just tried. They just carried it in my grocery store. It's from Alternative Kitchen and it's a, uh, black veggie forest ham and they're delicious i tried them last time they're really good uh, i like it because i've tried different ones and they don't all taste good but that one tastes really good this is eve's it's like also like a ground fake meat um but it's already cooked so it, it says you can eat it cold i never have i've made it with um like i make my rice or my quinoa and then in a frying pan i'll like warm it up and add everything in with vegetables so it's really good this i didn't try it with sauce this is original um they also have italian and they have uh, mexican they're also pretty good um another company that is good now i they have many things uh jardine jardin however you want to pronounce it um now I, they have little packages of of uh 
different fake meats. I didn't like everything, I will be honest. I tried a bunch of their products and a lot of them don't taste good, but this one tastes good. It's uh, chicken and strips. So I tried it, I baked it in the oven, like little finger, um, fake chicken fingers. And they're delicious with, uh, you know, like dips for kids or for you. You could put on pasta or salads or in a wrap. They're, it's good. This one is this one is good. I would suggest it. And another one that I absolutely love. I love, love, love this one. It's also fake chicken nuggets. And they taste exactly like McDonald nuggets. And you bake them in the oven like 20 minutes. So I put 10 minutes one side and I flip it 10 minutes the next side. And I also can make wraps with it. I, I, I love it because you can eat it cold. Um, so I for lunch, I make my son chicken wraps and it's delicious and they're really good. I would definitely suggest this. So those are my little meat alternative um, products that I like. And if you'd like to give it a try, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, I'd love to read your comments. So that was just my little quick video. I went to the grocery store and I'm like, I really wanted to do one on um, meat substitute. You know, it's nice once in a while just to change it up. So those ones are pretty good. And, uh, you know, there's no complaints from me. And my son is a very picky eater, so he eats all of this. Like sometimes he'll look at stuff and he won't even try it, but he loves this. So it's kid approved also. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you try it out and let me know. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish you all a wonderful day. Thanks. Mm. Sending out love and peace.